Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is Cork County. This is a new map out by Ninja Kurt. It is 129.42 megabytes to download. There are no custom crops on this map. Contracts are available. There are a couple of mods. Where do we start? Well, we are here on the map. Just the store. This is what the map looks like. I'm on New Farmer, Normal Economy. And we start with this farm area here, Field 36, Field 37. These two plots of land which have your animal pens on. On New Farmer you do start with all the animal pens. We do start with the farmhouse and a few bits of land here and there. There is a train line which we're going to be having a look at in a little while. Biogas plant is over to the right here which is actually just off the railway line but also on the road to 611,520. We'll have a look at that as we go around. It's a fairly standard one. Um, most of the stuff on this map is fairly standard. It is season supported. I'm just trying to think. Oh yeah, field prices range from field 5 which is tiny 30,456 up to field 31 which is 1,079,000 field 43 1,667,000 so you can really build just you sort of work your way up um, from small fields up to bigger fields then yeah you can combine fields if you want to there's forestry sections up in the northeast running down the eastern side of the map and all across the southern part of the map we have got some forested areas with sawmill at the bottom of the map in the southwest and in the northeast we've got a lumber yard which have both have the same um, cell point triggers in them so we start at the main store just here our buy point is there and our repair customized cell point is just around the side what we also have around the back is a bulk refill point and it does say some equipment will not refill from bulk and, and there is so much machinery i would I, I have no idea which will and which won't this one as it shows there will do your seed your lime and your solid fertilizer this one will do water and it will do your liquid fertilizer and this one just here will do your herbicide so if you want to come and get those in bulk you absolutely can. What we're going to do is head across. There is a fuel point just around the side there. We're going to head across to the farm area. Now there are jet washes knocking about. But weirdly, on equipment you own, it only shows you as only one. There's definitely one here. I think there's one at the main farm. I saw one somewhere else as well. First of the cell points, actually, as we walk past, is this one here. This is the vegetable warehouse. We'll have a look at the... Um, cell point screen in just a moment and the farmhouse like i said it's fairly standard stuff there are a couple of mods there's a modded silo that the map makers put in which is an 800,000 litre litre capacity silo here's our farmhouse triggers in there now what we do also have available as i was saying about the mods the map makers put in all pretty much standard as far as animal enclosures go. So the animal pens that we start with have all the capacities that the standard ones have and show on there. I will say them as we go around, but just to be clear on that, nothing under miscellaneous, nothing under decoration. Silos, though, we have a multi-fruit silo, 800,000 litre capacity for 500 grand, and you start with that on New Farmer, but you don't on start from scratch or farm manager slot count on new farm is 579 out of 1299 which isn't too bad we do have no it's not in there but under farmhouses so we've got the standard farmhouse but there is a sleep trigger so when you come onto this on farm manager and start from scratch you don't have the farmhouse either but there is a modded sleep trigger that you can use and put anywhere on the map if you want to if you haven't downloaded one or you might just want to use that one farm buildings sheds and machinery are all over here we're kind of heading east at the moment so a few bits of our machinery it's a huge building right back to there and the silo now the silo can be accessed 
from the road here, but it's actually joined into onto the railroad. So you can unload into your farm silo here and access it from the other side or load onto the trains from it or whatever. Now, there is a warning with this, which is where we're going to talk about the slot counts as well. If you come onto your farm manager and start from scratch, the slot count goes from 579 down to 405 and you start with nothing. Absolutely nothing. None of the machinery, none of the equipment, none of the buildings, nothing. The problem with that being, you don't have this silo. Now, to place this silo, it does have this little trigger bit. So I had a bit of a test and I bought both plots of land here, either side of the railway line. And what I'm going to do is just show you a picture of what came up. Yeah, so if you come onto here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, you may have a problem replacing it, especially if you want to place it on the railway. I don't suppose it's going to let you. It may take a bit of fiddling around. Um, you know, who knows? Now, as far as what we start with, we start with a Valtra N174, a Fent 1050, which is rather handy, a Rossell Mash RSM 161, two Agriliner trailers, the head of Draper Stream for the Russell Mash. We've got Cultivator, Lemkin Solitaire, Solitaire 12 Planter. Sorry, Cedar. Um, we've got the K105 Braidel Lime and Fertiliser Spreader, some weights. Then we have all the animal pens, like I said, sheep pastures 250, the cow pastures 50, horse paddock 16, pig enclosures 100 pigs, and the large chicken coop holds 400. Then there's the Moddy Grain Silo. We've got a few sheds. Jet wash, farm barn, farm garage. Then you've got the main, no, this one says main farm lights and props and farmhouse. I thought they came together, but that's what you start with on New Farmer. But like I say, farm manager and start from scratch, you don't have anything, and the slot count is 405. So our harvester is here, ready to start harvesting on our field, or one of the fields we own. What I'm going to do is grab the fence it's fairly nippy we're going to head to some of the cell points then we're going to hit the railway and then we're going to go around most of the railway and then finish off the last little bits by road so heading back in towards the main vehicle shop then we're going to swing north and the main bulk of the town is kind of up the middle here and then we've got a few bits around the periphery, not, not a huge amount building-wise, mostly cell points. Out on the western side of the map we do have um, a sort of beach front shoreline. As you can see, the town is here, kind of tightly packed. We do have a supermarket, but there's no cell point there. But again, if you've got any of the mods or mod packs, uh, the No Man's Land one or any, any of those, you can place sell points if you want to. Bakery sell point is just here. We've then got the animal dealer and the barn. So animal dealer, livestock market, trigger is just here. Barn trigger is just there. When we get to the next one, I'll show you on the map where we've been. I always do when I do the map tours, I'll show you around. Now this doesn't mention anywhere about precision farming. Um, it doesn't say it has a custom soil map, so there will be the default Giants one if you want to do precision farming. When we hit the railway, I'll need to wait for the train and then we'll hop on that. Because there's a lot of the cell points and silos are around the railway. And I think we've got two, maybe three then, that are off the railway after that. So, we're now coming up on the grain mill, I think it is. Yes, this is the grain mill cell point. Now, the grain mill cell point has a cell point trigger on the road and on the railway. So, the road one is there. And the railway one is there. So, what we're going to do now... Oh, that's perfect timing. So, whizzing past the grain mill cell point, what we'll do is have a quick check on the map. So we came from here, 
cross past the vegetable warehouse, the main farmhouse to the silo, grabbed the tractor, came back along, and we've come up here, bakery, animal dealer, barn. We've come up to the grain mill, and we are now currently on the train heading east towards the lumber yard. Now, I won't jump out when we get to the lumber yard. The, um, the trick is fairly clear, same as most lumber yards. There's the, the floating disc for selling of your lumber. And round behind the building, you can probably just see it. It's going to poke out from behind the trees. Just now behind the building is your wood chip sale point. So this is the northeast lumber yard. And we're going to swing around and head south down the map. Actually, that's... Oh, fuel point. And the cash point, I think it was. So next up, we have got the railroad silo east. There are two silos on this map, east and west. These are not sell points, they are silos. Each one will hold 200,000 litres of your main crop types and potato, sugar beet and sugar cane. Just remember, if you want to load into or unload from, you need to make sure that pressing triangle, if you're at the top left, that you have the correct train carriage selected so if i open that one now because i've got that one selected and press l3 it gives me the option for the railroad silo so i can unload into it or unload from it but you have to have the correct train car selected that's just for anyone that's new you might not know that these will take your main crop types like i say and then they will also do potatoes sugar beet and sugar cane so what we'll do now is close that front one up again and we shall continue the next sell point we're going to come up to is we check grain elevator east and right on top of grain elevator east is the biogas plant so grain elevator east also has a sell point on the road and on the rail biogas plant is just here five large silage clamps digestate point just there you can see marked and the sell point trigger is a fairly standard one. When you buy this for 611,000, wasn't it? Something like 611,500. It's a standard biogas plant. It pays 360 for a thousand litres of silage. Um, and yeah, so it's a standard, it doesn't do wood chip or sugar beet, sugar cane, potatoes, anything like that. Just your regular biogas plant type affair. So what we're going to do now is we're heading west again. Then we're going to take a bit of a left, head south. We're going to go past the farm silo where we were, where we picked up the fen. Then past the first of the animal pens on the plot, plots of land that we have, or at least we start with, on New Farmer. So we've got the pig pen, then the cow pen on this little stretch here. Standard triggers, like I said, the standard in-game ones, so the triggers are all fairly straightforward and easy to find. And then we've got the next sell point, which is the train station mill. Sell point road and rail. As you can tell, the map is fairly flat. There are some rises here and there. Up behind the store, you can just see to the north there are. Um, but for the most part, pretty flat. Fairly straightforward, mostly, I think, nearly all rectangular fields. So your workers should be fine on them. Uh, so we've got horses first, then we've got our sheep, then we've got our chickens. Then our spinnery sail point on the left just there. And then Railroad Silo West. Another 200,000 litre storage silo or transfer silo, however you want to look at it. Now that's all the cell points around the middle section. So we came from the grain mill, followed the track round, lumber yard, railroad silo east, grain elevator east, biogas plant, past the main grain elevator, uh, the main silo. Pigs, cows, train station mill, Horses, sheep, chicken, spinnery, railroad silo west. That will continue up now, as you can see, we're just there. And back round to the grain mill, where we're going to get back onto the fence and do the last two or three sell points. 
from here then. Back at the grain mill. We're going to head north. Now what's kind of clever I think with this map as well that Ninja Kurt has done. You've got a few bits here to the north and to the west where it looks like the map does carry on. But the bits that you can see are just past the map edge. You can't actually get to them. But it does give that feeling that it kind of extends further than it actually does. You can't go under there, that's just where the, the uh, traffic goes. But we are heading now to, where are we going, Port Northwest. But all of this here, these houses that lead up to the port area, as you can see bottom left of the mini-map, we are right on the northern point of the map. If I go any further over, we hit the edge. So all those bits there are actually just past the edge. Which will be kind of highlighted if I turn in in a second. We'll be running right along the map edge. So where some maps are a lot smaller and use the rest of the map to, to make it look like it's bigger, this actually goes further. We are on the map edge now. You can see where the texture changes a little bit just off to the right. That, you can't go any further. We're right up against the map edge. But it's neat and it's tidy. It's not blurred. It's, you know, it's good. So, cell point. Port Northwest. It's just up here. What we're going to do from here is head south. We're probably going to drive on the beach for a little bit. So we're going down the western side of the map. We'll go along the beach area and then we're going to head down to the port grain elevator and sawmill, which are the last two cell points. Actually, I'm going to come in a little bit. So I think we are, let's say, we are hugging the map edge this side as well. It feels like a fairly big map, probably because it's very open as well. So we fancy a bit of a break from farming, fancy a dip. I say seafront, it looks more like a, I mean, it could be a lake, it could be a large river, because we can see across the other side, but I'll see you in a moment when we hit the southwest corner of the map for the last two sail points. It's a fairly straight, oh wow, squeaky, it's a fairly straightforward map. Um, because there's not too much extra stuff added in it's all fairly pretty much base game stuff there's a lot of scope on the map I think because it's fairly flat as well to add things in the slot count isn't ridiculously high 579 on new farmer and then 405 uh, whoops 405 on um, farm manager will start from scratch so there is plenty of scope for more placeables extra sell points if you want maybe a bit of landscaping or just to come on and play it as it is, just you know, get some large machinery out and crack on. And then saying that, I've driven all the way down here anyway, so and kept talking as I often do. So again, we are right up to the map edge here. And I think the cell point itself is also pretty much on the edge. Literally. Not metaphorically, obviously. So the cell point here, port grain elevator, and you can see the text change again there. We are right up against the map edge here. We do have boats moving around on the periphery. And then we've got the sawmill, which is the second of the lumber cell points, just over here with the wood chip cell point two. And those strips of forestry that run across the southern part of the map just heading off in that direction out to the east. There's our wood chip cell point just there. That was good. I was hoping to look at the wood chip cell point. Crashed into the bins. Wood chip cell point there. And the lumber cell point just there. And that's it. That's the map. That's Cork County by Ninja Kurt. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.